Hello, welcome to my video of the HPI Racing 143rd scale Nissan GTR R34 Tommy Kyra. So uh, you may have seen some other R34, R33 videos on my channel, or even R35s. I've got some a number of HPI Racing models in that respect, and some 64th scale R35s as well. So I'll put a playlist up at the end of the video and in the uh, description to the video. Anyway, right, here we go. So, um, very classic 80s style Tommy Kyra right in there. Now, bear in mind this is a early 90s car, say 94, I guess, 93, 94. So, um, right-hand drive, of course, being uh, Japan only, although they did sell some R34s in the UK. Uh, Nissan did that is not and then there have been obviously private imports as well so um, right okay looking around the model uh, got some detail there one thing about these older R34s is they always have windscreen wiper points uh, <laughs> strangely enough four seater cars really um, anyway but uh, and I think we've got elements heater elements in the rear window nice detail uh, if we look into the car, you can see the gear stick, and let's see what we can see across there. Yeah, rear view mirror, screen, some kind of binnacle up on top of the dash there. Um, as usual, lovely paint, and a very fine metallic fleck to keep it reasonably realistic in scale. Um, okay, so coming around the front. That aggressive nose of the R34 compared to the R33. Uh, maybe personally I prefer the R33, not really sure. Lovely gold wheels, caliper detail, uh, grooved discs, uh, don't think they're cross drilled. Um, okay, plenty of detail there on the front. I'm just going to move this camera up a little bit, you'll see some bits of other HPI models that I'm doing videos on as well there. Um, now what's going on here? Okay, these are the side details for uh, just the add-ons for the Tommy Kyra stuff. Um, great detail on the wing there with the mounts. Uh, again, I find the, the rear end a little bit heavy-handed on the R34 compared to the R33, but we're just talking aesthetics here rather than performance. The R34 is obviously the better car. Uh, R33 never got popular, but uh, anyway, some uh, really nice detail on the lights there, the rear number plate, um, single exit exhaust. Let's look at the bottom while we're around, no real detail on the bottom of the car. Okay, uh, Okay, we can see a bit more of the interior headrest. Uh, I think there's a logo on those seats, but I can't make out what it is, and I wouldn't know what they were off the top of my head. Um, somebody might be able to mention it in the comments. That would be a, a well-known Japanese brand of seat, probably. Okay, there we go. Yeah, beautiful model. Lovely colour, of course. And let's just look at that. Those reflections in the paint. Perfectly good. Nice wings. The windscreen wiper detail. And let's look down at the top of the dash. Okay, we can see some stuff. Sorry about the reflections, it's just difficult to do a video like this. Okay, yeah, very good. So do subscribe to the channel because we've got a load of other videos that you'll like if you like this one. If you like this model, you'll like those. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe so uh, you'll hear from me again soon. Cheers.